chat and there we go nice let's pop out the chat and where's that pop out pop out and welcome everyone to another live stream today is june 22nd 2019 and today's live stream is an open discussion on education beyond the propaganda how to work the system okay that's what i titled the, titled the stream and that's what we've been titling these education streams because um, uh, basically our current centralized education system for as far as I know in the Western world anyway, can the United States and certain people I've met have worked with from Europe. Um, it is, they are, uh, or the system is an indoctrination center. There is useful information to be had, uh, must be had, but there's also a lot of programming that goes on during the 12 years of high school, elementary and high school education. And it continues on with post-secondary education and whatnot, right? Uh, so we're here just to open up the platform uh, and just talk about this. Uh, but I know with my students, I, we talk about this a fair bit. You know, they have questions. They want to know uh, why they should be studying something that they're studying specifically with me, when it be mathematics, physics, uh, sciences in general. And uh, I always emphasize to my students that there's basically two things that they have to excel in in school one of them is the language of mathematics right you have to be literate in the language of mathematics and the other one is you have to be literate in uh, your natural language you have to be able to express yourself properly as a form of communication right hello taco good morning how are you doing intrepid good morning my friend good morning hope all is well very well here intrepid thank you very much enjoying this last weekend before the end of the school year nicholas how's it going glad i caught the stream awesome awesome hello from london good morning guys good morning mask of raven mercenary mercenary how are you doing starsky good afternoon chicho how's life life is good life is good i like these early morning sessions tell you the truth i get up in the morning and do my thing i have my breakfast you know make my tea catch up on news and then usually i just keep on going down the rabbit hole by 7 7 30 a.m so the live streams now is sort of a great way to deviate from going from the you know stop myself from going down the rabbit hole and just open up the discussion and then do other things i've missed the last few streams because i couldn't get up early now <laughs> i'm just gonna rave <laughs> are you on the west coast where are you at uh oops uh where are you at uh we're on the west coast it's 7 a.m it's pretty early for saturday morning not uh, most people aren't up this early on a saturday not if they can help it right for me i can't help it i just the birds chirp i get up right uh, but on that note it's because i've been getting up really early for the last few weeks anyway i'm going to bed fairly early like 10 10 30 11 o'clock i'm crashing and burning right uh just so you guys know later on today uh, most likely i'm going to release the live stream on I, I have to think about this right uh alberta oh you're only one hour ahead so eight o'clock eight o'clock is pretty early for a saturday in alberta mountain standard time so it's eight for me yeah yeah i've li lived in alberta calgary for six months and i've did a fair bit of work in alberta during my geophysics years right so in the 90s i was in alberta a lot i actually had the opportunity to uh, for geophysics work they offered me the position to run the geophysics department in alberta in calgary and manage the geophysics uh, for this multinational engineering environmental company uh, i turned it down I like the West Coast lifestyle, right? They offered me a fair bit of money, uh, but for me, it's not about the money. It's about the lifestyle. And my family was here. I love the ocean. I love the West Coast, and I love the temperate rainforest and stuff. Uh, just uh, for those of you watching, Alberta and BC are quite different. 
in terms of terrain to a certain degree. Alberta is very flat. BC is mountainous. Alberta houses mountainous areas as well, right? And the demographics, uh, the business structure, the, the, there's huge differences between Alberta and BC. Huge differences. But we're Canadian. Like, we bond together, right? The only place Alberta and BC were in conflict right now is the pipeline going through. Uh, Albertans, or I wouldn't say Albertans, I would say the oil industry and the federal government of Canada wants to put the pipeline through. And residents of BC, anyone that really gives a rat's ass about the environment, uh, does not, they do not want the pipeline through because guaranteed there will be oil spillages i've done environmental work for 10 years in the 90s pipelines leak there will be contamination and the west coast of bc is very pristine or used to be way more pristine than it is now but it was very pristine and the tourism industry and stuff is very crucial for british columbians and oil tanker traffic these gigantic oil tanker traffic it'll be a disaster right as far as most well many bc residents are concerned i'm enjoying uh in the hot 30 degrees celsius 86 degree fahrenheit day i'm in my shorts uh and a wife being <laughs> nice taco i don't like the i never you know what those I, I just call them tank tops right i never realized they called them wife beaters i don't like that that when i found out that's what they used to call them i'm like oh man what intrepid uh i'm gonna go for a run but hopefully you'll still be streaming when i get back awesome have a great run intrepid more power to you man runs in the morning or it might be afternoon for you right now yeah have a nice run taco says gearing up for 13 hour work day here stateside 13 hours yikes what are you doing skywalker 13 hour work day i know it could be nursing doctors um who else does major 12-hour shifts a lot of Albertans really want the pipeline and screw the environment because the economic situation is bad here yeah and here's the kicker unfortunately mask of raven when i was working in alberta i interacted with a lot of albertans I, over the last 10 years in the 90s for 10 years i interacted with a lot of albertans and alberta goes through booms and bust periods right all of it based on the price of oil and the, how the economy is doing globally because if the economy is doing well oil prices go up and stuff like this and i try to talk to people and say listen divest from the oil industry this is ridiculous right and then during boom times people spend a ridiculous amount of money like really it's insane right people have no concept of savings and building a nest egg and divesting from the oil sector and stuff like this I would talk to them and they say, Oh, Chijo, you're out of your mind. This is never going to end, blah, blah, blah. We've got lots of resources. I'm like, But this is not sustainable. It, it, not based on the economic cycle or environmentally. I mean, a lot of these people were working in the environmental field as well, right? It just, you just couldn't get that going, right? And right now you see Saudi Arabia divesting, trying to divest from the oil sector, right? They're building tech world and trying to build solar panels and stuff like this and people really have to grasp what it means uh these tar sands and they are tar sands they call them oil sands now or oil reserves and stuff they're squeezing dirt with chemicals and like destroying the water like contaminating the water squeezing earth to get oil out very destructive i went to some places in alberta where we were doing uh, mapping contaminant plumes uh, groundwater plumes coming off of land site landfills and brine pits and where pipelines have the nodes where it's piping it's destructive and then people are you know cancer rates start going up and you tell people look this is benzene like you're getting benzene and other chemicals filtering into your groundwater they're like oh it's not it's not that bad the government tells us it's not that bad the corporation tells us it's not that bad i'm like wow 
coffee is your friend and your bathroom buddy taco yeah coffee i heard keeps you regular there's nothing better than chilling outside on a nice sunny day sipping on some gin and juice while lighting up a smooth indica <laughs> nice starsky indica so you're just sinking into your into your lounge chair in the patio eh? with your drink in hand did somebody say education education la via how are you doing how are you doing good afternoon to you good morning from my end right policemen i'm an active i'm an activities coordinator at a resort and we've got a lot of big groups coming in this is a 12-hour uh stars a skywalker skywalker was doing a 12-hour day no it was a skywalker that i read it yeah it was skywalker sorry Eric, that's fair so 12 hour workday i'm on activities coordinated as a resort and we've got a lot of big groups coming in wanting to do group team building so i'm going to be very busy today wow so it must be a lot of uh, conglomerates a lot of uh, big uh, corporations bringing in their their department whatever it is the group building stuff i find interesting um i've I've been in some not very many because I try to stay away from those types of uh, groups with geophysics you're very much solo you're interacting with geophysics people and stuff like this um, there were some fun aspects to it but I felt it there was sort of a cult feel to some of the activities with the chanting and the holding hands and all that jazz have you ever been to the Nunavut land a uh, dude I used to be in the 90s before uh, none of it uh, Northwest Territories was broken up into Northwest Territories and none of it um, so before that happened in the 90s I used to tell Canadians anyone I met that was like proud Canadian and we like uh, really Canada is absolutely amazing right I used to tell people and I was proud of this I would say I've been to every territory in every province in Canada right and then they separated Northwest Territories into Northwest Territories and Nunavut. So one day I will go to Nunavut. Okay. I've even been to Labrador, right? So I've been to Newfoundland, been to Labrador, but I haven't been to Nunavut. Uh, I will at some point. And I'm very, very much looking forward to it. Blueberry, how are you doing? Good morning, Chicho. How are you? Doing well, brother. Doing well. Thank you very much. Enjoying. Uh, the end of the school year right and uh, trying to organize myself to start uh, releasing some stuff you give yourself a what one the, I don't know what that is hey Chicho Martin how are you doing sorry I'm late got caught up watching your mint hanging video nice the mint is actually we've been having a heat uh, heat spell here a heat wave and the uh, leaves of the mints are like two those two days away from being fully dried the stems are going to take a another week at least to dry some of them were pretty thick stems right but the room smells really good and the whole mint were all bunches like this and they're all like little guys like this now right just hanging down nice harvest i'll be doing more i'll be doing more the first group i've got coming is in a family reunion so i'm sure that oh nice so it must be a large family family reunions would be amazing just the dynamics and the history behind all those people interacting eh? blueberry chicho i'm honestly uh, panicking i'm moving to canada in 56 days my student visa is not ready and i have no possible way to contact them do you have no possible way of contacting the visa people 56 days is a fairly it's a month and a two months almost right you should be able to contact the visa people to try to get confirmation if your visa has been approved if not you're coming from the states you should be i believe you're coming from the states if i remember correctly or you're coming from europe are you coming from europe oh man i forget the you should be there should be a way to contact the visa people what is where you put your finger in your... mm. 
Okay, the funky doobie 87. Time out of band. <laughs> My patience is short, right? Because of all the news events happening and end of the year and whatnot. Ban. We're banning, brother. We're banning. Sorry, brother. Are we banning? Okay, you laughed out loud. I'm going to time out. Boink. So you got 600 seconds, brother. <laughs> hey, finals week are over. Celebrate my birthday yesterday. Hey, right on. You're right on the cusp, Olivia. Cusp of Gemini and... What's that? What's the one after Gemini? I know August is Leo. Or not August. Uh, July 21st to August 21st is Leo. What's between Gemini and Leo, Olivia? No, sir. I'm coming from island of Aruba. 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 Okay, you know what? I'm gonna. What's your time zone? Aruba. I'm looking this up. I gotta get my geography more. You're south, is it? Yeah, okay. South America, Aruba. Ooh. There must be a way to contact them. There must be a way to contact them. The other way, Gemini Cancer. Okay, you're right on the cusp of Gemini Cancer, Olivia. Cool. Gemini. I'm a Gemini. Is it hot on Aruba? Must be. I'm guessing it's super hot on Aruba. Humid, probably. Hi, Chicho. Nice to catch you. I catch on your, uh, catch on your streams, one of your streams. Hey, Mamari, how are you doing? Welcome to another stream hot but breezy during these times cool Aruba. you're going to toronto blueberry yeah longest day birthday also that's true yeah the longest day of birthday so one one day uh, one year olivia you should say we're having a birthday from dawn till dusk <laughs> see who's gonna last right <laughs> fun or have a quick birthday the shortest start from dusk till dawn prince poop <laughs> the next video i'm going to load up oh yeah i was going to mention this um i have to think about this we did a couple of live streams last week's live stream on current events i rewatched. um there's some stuff there that i was like mm, not going to put on youtube going to put on youtube not going to put on youtube but then i I've, I'm, might, I'm most likely going to release it today on YouTube, last week's live stream on current events. That was before the downing of the drone by Iran and before so-called Trump ordered an attack and then pulled it back, right? So the live stream most likely that we did last week is going to be released today. And most likely two days from now, I'm going to release the one we did yesterday regarding current events. And that was after the drone that been brought down and stuff the reason i'm loading both those on youtube because it's important okay um that was a little hesitant because of the censorship and all that jazz we don't want to get flagged by the algorithms um, but uh, the war drums are pounding and this uh, possible war most likely these people are wanting warmonger uh, it's important to have that out there if we get flagged we get flagged hold on tight i intend to study engineering and perform music as well as stand-up comedy as a hobby ah nice blueberry you're going to the right city you're going to toronto from what i remember and uh toronto have a, has a lot of busters the, on the streets and stuff they're doing their thing you can generate a little bit of money there i think i'm pretty sure you need a permit to do it and the comedy clubs in toronto are pretty good uh, so it should be interesting i hope your visa comes through here in Bosnia, we have weak wind and dry air. So I have a few cups of water in my room as a humidity additive. Really? Wow, Taco. Here in Western BC, uh, coast of BC, we're in a rainforest. So it's more on the humid side. Uh, it's great for storing cigars. 
Mine is 11th September, St. Martin. 11th September. So Leo, I don't know what the one is after Leo. Chicho going to try and copy your cuckoo recipe tomorrow. Nice, Nicholas. I hope you like it's it's amazing really cuckoo is one of the dishes i love making the most uh, dante how are you doing and you can make it uh, nicholas you can make it with any greens you want the lettuce romaine lettuce and stuff gives it a nice crunch same with the green onions if you end up putting green onions or romaine lettuce in there it gives, gives it a good crunch the other herbs greens that you can put in there they break down easier so they give it the squishy feel um, some people add a fair bit of oil some people not as you know with my cuckoos uh, sometimes i didn't add oil sometimes i add a lot if you make it if you if you make it uh, in anything other than a cast iron yeah you're gonna need oil uh, teflon i try not to use but i know family members i use it so for teflon it it doesn't need that much oil it means it needs just enough as a cast iron plate but if you make it in any other kind of pan that is non non-sticky that doesn't have that uh, a cast iron feel teflon feel you're gonna need a lot of oil it does grip if trump wants to go to war with iran now's the time because i don't know how close i'll i'll be to canada ever again in my life i'll be how close I'll be to Canada ever again in my life. Really, uh, Skywalker. Yeah, I, I, hope, I hope they don't. Really. It's a game changer. The world will change. Dramatically. Dramatically. I used to be a bus, uh, busker. Is it a busker or a buster? I a busker. Uh, I beat war drums in Washington. Nice, nice. I've had, uh, I used to play drums, right? And I had a second kit that was like my wrecking kit, I guess, right? And during peace rallies before the Iraq invasion uh, in Canada, we, I attended peace rallies and I used to have my big drums on me. And I also did that when Canada was qualifying for the World Cup. Cancer, Leo, Ver, uh, vertigo libra scorpio cool so cancer leo so cancer is now starting leo vertigo virgo libra scorpio cool and then sagittarius i believe i was going to use cast iron anyway cheers bro i'll let you know how it goes okay awesome awesome didn't trump say he wants to talk now he pulled similar stunts with North Korea. Yeah, but North Korea, North Korea and Iran are pretty serious. Uh, but North Korea is isolated. It doesn't have its tentacles everywhere, right? Iran is connected. They're extremely well connected around the globe. The world diplomats on a, on a level that very few countries have. So, Prince Poop, what's up? Uh, threaten then start negotiations yeah but man he's surrounded by warmongers Bolton uh, I mean all of them really neocons hardcore so dangerous game I like using cast iron because it gives food uh, that rustic feel yeah I agree and you can be rough with the pan all you want and like saute pans because they are opposite of cast iron they're nice for making sauces and cooking meat nice cast iron is awesome i like making sauces and cast iron too when you cook stuff up and there's a little bit of sticky stuff in the bottom just pour a little bit of wine or oil or uh, that's sometimes a little bit of balsamic vinegar but oil in general and scrape off the within reason right just uh, scrape off the bottom a little bit and you solidify it it's really good that drum story is impressive <laughs> had to be done had to be done i even have pictures of it i think somewhere there's a girl on twitch that is streaming from her job nice i hope it's a good job 
Blue Bear, in regards to the take uh, to the take contact part, uh, the immigration call center has two numbers: one for within Canada only, and one from uh, the one for the disabled. They also have an email to which I've sent two emails and no response to either. My best option at this point is to take uh, contact with any Canadian embassy concerning or but doesn't have any embassy here. Wow. Aloha everyone. Aloha Red Man. How are you doing? Um, yeah, maybe maybe they sent the visas because if you're two months out, maybe it takes a while for the visas to be processed and they send it to you like a couple of weeks beforehand or something. Can you even get on a plane to come to Canada without without a visa from Aruba Blueberry? I hate it when a girl uh, bumps me when our zodiac uh, signs don't match. Oh, really? You've had that happen? I haven't had it happen. I've had people say, oh, you know, we might not get along or wow, we will get along great. And we sometimes don't and sometimes people say we don't get along and then we get along okay wonder how she doesn't uh, get in trouble who's that well if she's no yeah, maybe maybe she might have a, a what do you call it Dante she might have a agreement with her work depends on the work I guess maybe the work doesn't know Iran will drag plenty of countries into a war yeah martin yeah agreed uh on that note you could just change the name iran and say saudi arabia israel and the u.s will drag plenty of countries into a war uh, because it is they are instigating this war everyone knows that right sticky stuff uh is is fond it's used to make as a starter for sauces or as a flavor booster cool yeah I use it it's, it's not a huge sauces I make I make a little bit that I put on the either meats that I've been cooking or something else All right or I just keep the sticky stuff in there and then I after I remove whatever I've been frying or whatnot I add other things in there so they acquire the flavor of the main uh, protein or whatever it might be if she tells you that ask her if your uh, venus and moon signs are in uh, trigon or sextile <laughs> livia knows this stuff so <laughs> livia knows the astronomical sign stuff really well so let's read that again so if if someone you want to go out with tells you your signs aren't compatible livia says this if she tells you that ask her if your venus and moon signs are in trigon or sextile <laughs> i don't know what that would imply but sounds cool trigon or sextile i'm assuming you want it to be in sextile i don't know what that means but i'll try <laughs> who cares if you're wrong gets nuclear weapons they haven't started wars use nuclear weapons or attack their own citizens um first of all uh, uh, prince poop iran doesn't has said they don't want nuclear weapons the ayatollahs actually came out decades ago and said nuclear weapons are against islam their belief system that being said if they get pushed further and further uh, we're gonna th see things off i'm off for a sec okay livia i can get on a plane i would have to fill out uh and purchase an uh, eta form okay as long as you can come here i guess you could go and sort out your visa i'm j i just don't know how long an eta get me however long you need to go get your paperwork in order bitch hello hello bitch <laughs> i like that name that's the easiest name i've ever pronounced <laughs> racer kill imagine if iran had drones flying a few kilometers off the coast of us yeah you have to hear it my brother songs don't reveal anything you fool trust me no you're telling me trump's been the lizard person this whole time 
uh, Skywalker I don't know if Trump's been a lizard person but he is definitely in control is he, he is controlled by the lizard people if you want to think about them that way it's called BC boy avocado honey BC is very secret it's very secret okay BC boy oh I think this guy is just advertising his music possibly Dante no I'm not a bot just broke are these guys bots that dilute reasonable uh, political conversation online I, there's a lot of people one thing I've noticed too just with uh, trolls and people trying to get on the social network scene and promote their stuff uh, there's a lot of people that join other groups participate in other things there's people that are liking my tweets and I check out you know I don't tweet uh, um, uh, tweet very much the Twitter stuff um, but there are times where I see people liking my tweets and then I check them out and they're just liking thousands tens of thousands of tweets and trying to get people's attention so I, I look them up and some of them are just marketing people some are real estate people and stuff like this so people are just trying to get on the radar somehow right uh, I think what they need to realize is you just have to believe in what you're doing and just keep on doing it right I haven't had this for 14 years now right? that's a long time when did the Quran ever say anything about uranium 235 and using an explosion to make vaporizing blast that can cook a cow in less than a second and shower fall out to everything it's not the Quran right it's the interpretation of the Quran just like the interpretation of the Bible or the interpretation of the Torah or whatever it is right I don't know the logistics of it but basically for one I understand any weapon of mass destruction uh, that uh, kills people indiscriminately is considered to be against the according to their interpretation against the word of God whatever your interpretation of God is right so it's not about uranium 235 like the Torah the Bible the Old Testament New Testament the Quran and stuff have very little to say about technology right they have to they have things to say about uh, control mechanisms for sure how to control masses of people and uh, in large part they try to deal with morality and stuff like this but um, it's it's becoming so you know how if you've been here you know how I feel about those centralized religious institutions so don't talk to these idiots referring to organizations or lizards they are either bots or intelligent uh, intelligent people yeah like you could put it that way they could be bots puppets I'd like to call them uh, no just trolling I feel not. the United States needs to and the education system being education talk right on let's talk education we're 30 minutes in and we're talking about education yeah education system being funded by property taxes it's just another way to keep the poor poor and try to keep them within a certain caste and to a certain degree touring news I agree with you right there's a lot of people when you see uh, apartments and houses becoming available in parts in regions where the school system is considered to be really good then what you see is bidding wars taking place in the US I knew I know this was happening uh, apartment complexes would be available uh, you know near a school zone uh, uh, near in a zone where all the kids from that zone are supposed to go to this one school which has high standards right so people would be fighting and outbidding each other trying to get into that apartment to send their kids to the school so that's one of the things control mechanisms put into place me actually I don't lose never thought I hear you say Bitch. <laughs> the only reason I know how to say it is uh, I've had friends that, uh, that have used that over the years a lot but back in the uh, 90s really I followed you because you're my favorite twitch streamer now awesome glad to have you here man I'm glad you're enjoying the streams if it doesn't take 30 minutes to get on topic 
it's not a proper chicho <laughs> ask of raven yeah so the education system the centralization the way it's controlled is horrendous right and as soon as you have central one of the things i, I want to emphasize i'm very much against centralization as, as as you know right centralization of anything one of the reasons i'm against centralization is because e it's easier to manipulate it's easier to control the system once the power has been centralized right so if there's synergy between all the different departments right and all of that synergy goes towards one centralized location and the centralized location dictates what all those different departments need to do then if you want to corrupt the system all you have to do is hit the core right once you hit the core you can control everything right which is basically one of the things that cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology is trying to do is decentralize everything so there is no core right which is the opposite of what facebook and some of these tech companies in silicon valley are trying to create they're calling them did crypto coins or whatever but they're digital wallets digital currencies and they're centralized so there's a whole battle going on right now in our world political economic education on almost every front food energy and all this jazz that is trying to decentralize our current political economic system while there are powers that are trying to even make it more centralized right i am pro decentralization in a big way and that includes our education system our education system has to be completely decentralized now it's beyond repair in canada united states anyway i want to give you positivity now thanks absolutely control mechanisms are uh necess uh, I don't know what that necessary <laughs> necessary control mechanisms are necessary i disagree uh in large part what kind of control mechanisms do we need uh, and so our poor people get real i think the education system here in the uk needs an overhaul i work in high high school and staff still haven't realized that shouting and yelling at kids only gets them to hate school more they shout and yell at kids uh, i enjoy the traditional speak to people how you want uh, how you would like to be spoken to agreed start treating the kids with some respect and i wonder how much of a change would see huge bomb kiss bomb it would be huge like i don't yell at my students i don't think i've ever, ever I might have raised my voice on my students once when I had a group of people, a couple of people were, but very rare and I regret, I'm pretty sure I have at least once, maybe once, most twice, I don't even think twice, maybe once, uh, but I regretted it. Uh, the way kids need to be treated is basically like adults plus some filters, right? Treat them like adults, like they control their own lives their own destiny add the filters you need to add i do depending on uh, what the mental capacity of the kids are but i try to put the weight on them give them responsibility for their own education right that way when things go bad and they try to blame someone else you say no, no 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 you didn't do it it's okay take it easy you can start if again right a school run by kids great it would be great to tell you the truth prince poop a school run by kids would be phenomenal really i would i don't work for any school centralized school system but if there was a school run by kids i'd volunteer or work for them but for real now not a bot just a rapper that's trying to make make it hey chicho how do you break your how do you break your fast uh i fasted three four times in my life three times i broke it differently one time i went to a lebanese le restaurant ate lebanese food and drank double beautifuls <laughs> don't do that actually it was an amazing sensation uh one time i broke it very slowly uh, just a little bit of porridge and stuff over a couple of days and that's a good way of doing it bringing your system back online another time which was an insane 
amazing experience. I broke it with entheogens. Uh, I don't recommend if you do not know what it is, what it entails. If kids don't like school, tough luck. They deserve the poverty that will follow. I disagree, Prince Poop. Um, because one of the obvious uh, problems with that is we're not an island onto ourselves. If the system, if we do not take care to make sure future generations are educated and taken care of, that's going to come and bite us in the ass through crime and turmoil and, and mental health issues and all kinds of stuff, right? I like a hand uh, I like on hand experience learning than reading because it makes us use our body and when we do something remember that and we can use that later for sure that's one style of a learning taco and it depends what you're learning uh, there are certain things you need to learn you need to learn read books full-on books to be able to learn them because they're ideas connecting each other okay there are the number of books that are like that are the good ones anyway they're few and far in between but considering how many books are out there but if you can find books that you can learn from when you read them fantastic sometimes you can learn stuff by reading just articles and stuff like this and doing examples other times hands-on right spot of tea how are you doing i agree entirely do, 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 with Google. the education system yeah this is a regarding the uk education system positive reinforcement is one of the most important things ever and teachers don't realize it it's insane how much pressure we put on students at such a young age i agree with you spot of tea is horrendous also hey chicho hi spot of tea I was educated in the UK military school system. When I returned to the UK main schooling, the education was so far behind. It's it's more to do with the structure of the education, I think. Yeah. Uh, or better yet, speak to the kids the way uh, the way they should be spoken to. A lot of these kids come from a, from non-perfect households and don't know how it feels to be loved appreciated and cared for if you give them these things in education settings they'll be better off as a result agreed skywalker 100 percent, and so will our society so will our society right may have explained that poorly so look up the uh, platinum rule if you're all confused uh, skywalker i think we talked about this. is the platinum rule or silver rule what you were saying skywalker there's the golden rule is uh, treat others the way you want to be treated silver rule is don't treat others the way you do not want to be treated what would the platinum rule be bomb 100 percent agree we need every type of control mechanism possible especially now because the automation automation revolution is about to reduce wages and increase unemployment massively people have no idea what's coming i agree prince uh poop that people have no idea what's coming i disagree with the control mechanisms i think we need more freedoms instead of less uh, instead of more control spot of tea ba, 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 ba. but yeah it wasn't until i got into a level that i started to feel less terrified of my teachers and even then there's a very controlling regime that just piles the pressure on once again so early oh, Nick. <laughs> so early oh, Nick. <laughs> you're two hours ahead right on me not bad not bad 9 45 later on this week um, uh, most likely wednesday or something i'm gonna put up a live stream most likely during the day and i want to read some excerpts from uh uh, Wilhelm Reich's uh, Mass Psychology of Fascism. I've highlighted some excerpts that I've been meaning to tweet, <laughs> but I might do the tweeting before we do the live stream. I don't know, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm going to set up more live streams during the day so you don't have to get up so early, Admik. How would you feel if a teacher uh, traumatized you and made you feel worthless than nothing? How the message? I'm youth and I actually hate my school. I have been accused of 
can't write the actual word at the age of 13. Uh, bitch, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Automod, uh, spot of the uh, permitted term. Okay, spot of two approved it. Be cool. Thanks, spot of two. Thanks, spot of two. Uh, so many issues in education are driven. By the way, um, <laughs> I don't want to keep on saying your name, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> I laugh when I say it. Uh, but uh, stay away from bureaucracy. Stay away from uh, conflict in, in the centralized education system. The more you push back to a certain degree, and if you come across uh, people that have issues that have been given a little bit of power and they enforce that power like tyrants uh you might have problems right if you're in education system get the job done right you're there to make sure you're getting good marks learn what you need to learn do your time right consider it being in jail do your time get the most out of it and get out and then figure out what you want to do so many issues in education are driven by inequality poor schools and poor districts can't educate anyone it only perpetuates poverty agreed odd mech very much so and it's what it what it is is a cycle as well right it's not about the immediate the kids in the school most likely their parents went through the same systems so their parents have the same issues as the kids now as well as their grandparents and so on and so forth so when you're trying to teach mathematics if a kid doesn't help have any help at home where they can bounce off ideas and talk about their problems that they're trying to solve they're stuck if they don't have the resources at their disposal maybe tutoring centers or high-speed internet or just internet in general to be able to find videos to help them out they're stuck that's it they're not progressing anymore until they get that major issue resolved right so this has been in the works for decades and decades and decades this centralization of education that is what it's bred created we have to put a stop to that automation isn't going to increase unemployment if factory workers are getting replaced with robotics then there is going to be a need for technicians and engineers uh perps it is going to decrease uh, employment okay off the get-go it is until people get retrained the problem with uh, with what you're saying is the workforce is not there to go technical there are millions of people that are working uh, jobs that are going to be automated that don't have the education to be able to lift themselves up to a higher level of employment right they're going to be left behind so automation for sure is going to uh, increase employment uh, decrease uh, decrease employment unemployment rates going to go up okay at least for the short term short term on a global on a countrywide scale we're talking the next five to ten years okay and then through re-education and stuff like this we might see employment kicking up again okay but if, for sure there's no doubt that it's going to reduce uh, employment for the short term teachers don't realize how much of a psychological effect they have on their students um, spot of tea I would say there are teachers that do school is a huge part of the child's development that I agree with 100% and I've come across teachers that do appreciate how they are affecting kids right but they're few and far and far in between they're not the majority of teachers that I've come across right I think teachers initially have a great intention uh, but I think the system wears them down anyone that goes into teaching education in general majority of them have good intentions um, they just don't appreciate what the system is and how it's gonna grind them down okay guys I'm gonna head out for work 
see you all in 13 hours <laughs> see you later skywalker <laughs> hope you have a fantastic time with the family see you guys adios adios lyricist i would feel traumatized anybody feel free to listen to my music though just search up i see boy anywhere have a good day everybody good day to you as well it's exam month at the moment and it's bizarre to me 200 kids crammed into a hall in silence expected to regurgitate information they'll likely forget in six months this isn't prepping for them prepping them for life no uh, and they're going to forget the information they're putting onto the paper most likely within hours they forget it even as soon as it's put on paper they forget about it right most part uh, most of it anyway well i was traumatized and fell behind school and no one cared so i just did my best and the government screwed me over yeah taco you're not alone Wabin, how are you doing man today's topic hits home right now in my school my students decided to occupy occupy as part of a students union so i'm missing classes and it's gonna delay everything it's complete bs that's crazy it's it sucks right uh but it is like i can't i can't blame people for demonstrating against our current education system may it be you know sitting in places and stuff like this but also that's not the solution their solution is to create alternate systems to the centralized education system and help out the community right uh, this machine that is just churning right it's not going to get fixed until it completely shuts down which it's in the process of doing right now so in a country full of guns and unemployed people usa you want less control mechanism yes 100 percent principle less control mechanisms give people the freedom to live their lives educate themselves connect with their peers build organizations institutions uh, local centers where people can come together and educate each other and work together and to build right one of the reasons we don't see these types of activities on mass in every community where the kids have a center to go to to do their homework and stuff like this is because of licensing is because of regulation is because of control mechanisms right if you want to set up a center where kids can come and do homework and stuff like this you need tongue you need you need permits and stuff like this just to give you an example on the extreme front in the states there have been kids that are selling lemonade in their neighborhood by the side of the street where the police pull up and ask the kids if they have a license to sell lemonade then the kid says what license and then they shut down the lemonade stand right is that the type of control mechanism you want I'm, for sure i'm taking it to the extreme but we need less control mechanisms 100 percent sounds unfortunate i wasn't quite sure about that one but it didn't seem that uh, malicious yeah the the lyricist eh? no he wasn't malicious he was just he's just trying to get his word out right his name out people are people are hard people are struggling man they need they they have passions they want to share they want to they, they want to create and you know i'm all for that i'm all for that sounds like a recipe for disaster yeah martin i agree more control mechanisms huge recipe for disaster matt girl hello how are you doing it is a disaster already and the real unemployment has only just begun learn online computing and electronic skills right now or become irrelevant i disagree that it's just computing and uh, electric skills uh, you have to learn not to become irrelevant there's many things you can learn not to become irrelevant right uh forgive me you're right it's time for a change before it's too late for the next generation <laughs> okay i'm gonna read speedy gonzalez try to catch up 
I had an exam system in my elementary school where I had to cram nine years of elementary into five tests and I failed because I didn't have the memory capacity 80% of the kids didn't make it or cheated and when I finished the test I was told uh, that my score was too low and I was told that I didn't get the right to uh, right to go to college or a good high school that's unfortunate unless I pay the government to repeat four years of high school so I chose to go private schooling okay private schooling is definitely an option taco for sure I've been reading ethics of ambiguity it's basically an ethics based on freedom there's a lot to it but you should act in a way where you make choices that will increase your freedom you do this by not denying your freedom and helping others realize their freedom either by giving them an economic system that will allow them to realize this or by helping break them from a distorted view they might have of themselves since we are all connected when you choose to be free you help others to be awesome awesome i gotta read your name padra 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 <laughs> Padre, 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 Padre. Thanks for that, Padre. And I agree with that, right? More freedom for yourself and help others to acquire more freedom. It's scary that so many people have no idea that uh, are about to become irrelevant. Next time you go out, look at the people around you who can't use computers or phones. Humanity is spitting it, uh, splitting in two. The relevant and the irrelevant uh, Prince Poop from my interaction with youth everybody knows how to use the computer and phones better than the generations before them right so this is just the transition period we're seeing the elderly sure you're gonna see a few people that are gonna be left behind but if they're not taking the time to learn the computer or whatever it is learn technology then maybe they're set they're comfortable in their own ways no one says that they have to participate in this uh, disruptive innovation technological evolution that's taking place right they don't right everybody doesn't have to be tech savvy everybody doesn't have to be online okay so that's a fallacy that if you're not online you're lost you're gonna be left behind you have no future complete fallacy okay however there are going to be people that are going to lose their jobs due to automation and there's going to be a serious amount of unemployment coming up that's why there's a lot of talk about uh, basic income and stuff like this right and the safety net or whatnot have a good stream schmiggle as we say in Germany, <laughs> thanks, thanks, uh, Matt Ger I guess jurors for Germany, Matt Germany. Slightly off topic, but will there be any gaming streams this summer, Chicho? Nicholas, if I can get my act together, I'll try. I have, I'm trying to bring my gaming group here to do a Monopoly session again or an Axis and Allies session. I'm trying to bring my grandma here to play backgammon again, uh, and I'm gonna do. A couple of more gaming videos but I don't know if I'll be able to get my video gaming gear set up so we can play video games I can do start doing what you're supposed to be not supposed to be doing but what twitch was set up for what which is a gaming live stream we'll see where I can take it right you can put pressure on these uh, who are paid to develop better systems oh yeah I did have some fantastic teachers and I understand that the system is incredibly flawed and grinds them down but personally in my school at least I definitely had some teachers who were far more focused on their own um, interests than the students interests yeah spot of tea I feel you I've come across some horrendous teachers horrendous teachers not only when I was going to school but through my interaction with my students all right and the number of good teachers in the system in my area anyway has been decreasing there's less and less good teachers it just is what it is right I'm not trashing the teaching profession or anything like this I'm just from my experience I do agree with the general advice of get in school 
get steady and get out nothing more Wabin, 100% get in there learn what you need to learn get out right realize that uh, you're gonna be wasting a little bit of time because they're gonna force you to learn crap or they're indoctrinating you just realize what's happening and learn what you need to learn right and the older you get if you continue this at the beginning the older you get there's less garbage you're gonna have to deal with and more brilliance that you're gonna encounter right I think board games marathon is in the pipeline I'm trying Chicho ok 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 one how are you doing thank you for the subscribe by the way if I'm missing it thank you for the subscribes thank you for the follows okay um, mainly keeping my eye on the on the chat trying to catch up with with the stream and read comments and stuff like this at least automation will likely force the United States to establish a satisfactory welfare net so many people will be out of work and I don't see many ways the government could deal with it besides some kind of universal income maybe Otmec and the universal income for me is not it might be a temporary bandage a band band-aid on a serious problem but it's not the ultimate solution to what's happening it might get get us past the hump with huge unemployment but the universal income what it's going to do is going to increase the rate of inflation for basic stuff right and uh, people you know finance is not taught properly in school so people are going to know how to manage their finances so uh, in the long run if it continues for a long period of time it's going to be more problematic i think i have my take uh, staff take courses on a regular basis to keep them up to de date uh, up to data on competitive in the job market awesome martin yeah that's good and you're managing the bar right awesome you're doing that man awesome you're doing that automation will force the government to fund and propagate trade schools i hope so my idea for my class is that it should be more fluid out of 30 kids in class 10 kids are ahead and aren't reaching their potential 10 kids are left behind and get lost if you miss a week you're screwed i think it should be more personalized some kids are going to be slower or faster keep them in this mold maybe more tutors less teachers um uh, padre i agree uh, the one solution to this smaller class sizes right so one thing you could do is have a hierarchy system of education you could have uh, an instructor i guess if you want to call it that giving the lesson to let's say 100 people right let's make the numbers easy 100 people right and then the second tier education so one hour of lesson and then i behind and not people not understanding stuff like this is smaller class sizes which is what you inferred here which is personalized right i i live to see a team member move on to a promotion or more skilled position in the company awesome martin awesome and one thing happens is martin one thing i've i've managed some people when i was doing geophysics right i had groups of people in the field doing this stuff you treat your employees well you have them for life right either as employees or as clients or as friends you build bonds that won't be broken because you were there for them when they needed you right you played a part in them fulfilling their dreams right i wish more people really understood this and what martin is what martin's saying support your employees support your family support your friends because that's the way you build your bonds basic income seems dumb short-term solution for a serious major problem uh it's not the end all um monopoly would be awesome monopoly i would love it man i'm trying to get him come chicho gaming streams would be amazing i go off i i get lost in gaming i love it i'll make I, ge I generally think math 
could be taught way faster i think most pre high school students can learn almost everything i agree on nick really all of up to grade 12 mathematics in my part of the world which takes you to pre-calc and you know it's not very advanced all of that stuff what you learn in my area in grade 12 could have been taught to kids in grade 8 right you got to start in elementary school teach them teach them teach them by grade 8 9 they could have learned everything they they had learned that took them 12 years to learn in nine years eight or nine years okay it's way too slow kids lose interest kids right now their processing speed is speedy gonzalez they're wired to process data really way better than i was right way better than generations two decades ago right mathematics is processing data math can be taught to kids right now rapidly really rapidly you could be teaching kids calculus in grade 11 right and hardcore statistics in grade 11 and 12 just imagine a school system where you're teaching that level of mathematics in grade 11 and 12 you've built it up there you just created people that are independent intelligent can decide their own future and contribute back in society why aren't we doing this why aren't we doing this well i love your grandma on your fine oh oh you're fine bro i didn't mean uh consoles i meant backgammon okay awesome nicholas yeah man if i can't bring my grandma here for a backgammon live stream i'm gonna go see her for her birthday 92nd birthday in august okay and if i can't bring her here to visit me for in august maybe after her birthday or pre-birthday i don't know uh, then i might take my gear uh, to where my grandma is and figure out if one of my family members has high-speed internet the way we have right now that i can live stream on and set it up there and live stream i don't know i'll see i'll see what i can do thank you for the subscribe uh, coco ok oka oka one uh da -da. especially today with the information age with sites like khan academy and course yeah agreed and chicho don't forget chicho <laughs> i've been the most ahead in class and one of the most behind both very were frustrating oh man I, one of the most frustrating things is sitting in class and they're teaching something that you learned two years ago right and you're sitting there going this is boring right what's the topic mean by how what's the topic mean by how to work the system i don't quite understand how to work the system is basically understand this our current centralized education system is basically for uh, elementary school and high school is basically set up like a prison right you go there you do your time right don't get caught up in the politics you realize that you're there it, it could be an amazing experience as well right for many people high school is not a good experience for some it's just a whatever experience for others it's an amazing experience right i've come across all types to all of them i say this listen no matter if you're not having fun or you're having fun realize that you're there to put in your time learn what you need to learn realize that you're being propagandized you're being programmed by a centralized institution that everything that you're being told is not fact or true however there are things that you need to learn while you're going through the system the two most important are mathematics and your natural language reading and writing and the language of mathematics okay if you can excel in those two courses okay you can excel in whatever it is that you want to do once you get out of this prison system this centralized education system once you get out of high school once you graduate take a breather okay figure out what just happened what you just finished realize that the world you're about to enter is different than the world that you just came from okay 
take heed make sure you look at all your options okay look at your family setting if your family isn't you know financially they need help get a part-time job start to make some money and appreciate what it takes to make money to manage finances right so one of your first things you need to do to work the system to understand the system to be able to function with the system is as soon as you finish high school get your finances in order and realize how much it's going to cost you to get a higher education or get a trade or start a business right extrapolate the debt you might be going into five years ten years down the road and try to appreciate if it's going to be worth it for you to go into debt to this amount right understand that there's no way you should go into huge debt for a hobby right so if you like basket weaving there's no way you should be spending a hundred thousand dollars to go to university to learn how to weave baskets okay really important okay so that's sort of what i'm referring to of how to work the system there are ways that you can work the system beyond this for example if you want to take courses at university you don't necessarily have to pay the whole fees you didn't have to anyway um, i don't so some universities will still offer this some colleges will still offer this where you can pay a lower fee right and challenge the finals and when you challenge a course you can write the finals and get credit for the course so instead of paying a thousand dollars for a course you pay 250 dollars write a final you get the credit for the course and then you can move forward again so there's ways to work the system really steady the system that you're being educated under and find the loopholes and figure out what you need to do to meander your way make your way through the system and sometimes jump through the obstacles that have been put in place uh, to hold you back so you can progress faster if that's what you want to do right in high school i was tutoring someone on my math school football team he didn't understand basic algebra at the end of a couple of months he was doing trick guess that's what happens when you learn fractions for seven years nice nice you taught them trig and they didn't know how to do basic algebra right oddmic i have students like this and i've had students like this all my life right where i have athletes that are in school and athletics i'm, I'm against athletics the way it's being managed in uh, uh thank you for taking care of business uh spot of tea i just noticed the message being deleted uh in centralized education so the way they're promoting athletics is ridiculous i just had students at the end of the school year they got pulled out of school the last two weeks where they had exams and reviews and stuff they got pulled out of school for a week they went on a gaming trip to from canada to the united states to play a sport for a week while the their classmates were in school reviewing for the final whose genius idea was this to pull kids this is grade 10 11 and 12 to pull kids that are playing a sport out of school the last two weeks during exam period review time to go somewhere to play a game that for most of them it means nothing other than a good time right when they should be thinking about their academics ridiculous right and then when i work with some of these athletes right people think because these 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 kids are athletic they're just they're you know they've been playing sports maybe lacrosse football soccer whatever it might be they're not smart and then you start working with them you realize they're incredibly smart they have math abilities beyond some of the people that are trying to get into mathematics right they just haven't been given the opportunity to learn the basics algebra once you teach them the basics you see their marks and their understanding of mathematics excel right because one thing i've noticed by the way i'll mention this is those kids who are 
hardcore into athletics they have discipline right give them a challenge they'll meet it right and that's the way i treat my students that are very highly athletic right i challenge them i dump stuff on them right for me it's worse you're not learning anything you may be getting a bit brainwashed but i'm not learning except minor math foundations it's all just for the title i agree with the, most of it is for the title robin speaking of high school secondary education anyway uh, graduate and go into what i want to do yeah our job market sucks good luck getting a part-time job if you're not a software developer something in, in very high demand yeah i agree with Wobin. Uh, the job or start your own job right become an entrepreneur start your own whatever it is you want to do i've had students and family and friends that have done this coming out of high school the job market sucks they're being bullied they're not being paid enough so they see a gap and they fill it well ideally the purpose of school isn't to teach you useful things as much as it is to develop your brain so you can think critically hasn't been like that for a while though no it hasn't i agree with Atmec. but education is cheaper even free at times that's how i feel about the military i feel that i get looked down on because i just want to finish my contract and leave and get a regular job <laughs> yeah that's the best thing to do you used it to get your certificate get your credentials to a level where you need to get it then pull out get out get your life in order and do what you want to do instead of being used as a tool i realized that you've been timed out once already please watch your yourself or next time it will be a bad thanks spot of tea funky doobie yeah i timed them up earlier for 600 seconds uh for second infraction for me i warned them by the way spot of tea i ban i'll leave it up to you if you want to ban uh, i would ban okay these these times call for harsh punishments but what about the underwater basket weaving <laughs> feel like it might pay off <laughs> maybe <laughs> chicho do you like the movie uh coach carter coach carter oh, i remember that uh, coach carter coach carter which one is that am i way behind oh, i'm not way behind on chat so i'm gonna look this up coach carter coach carter why is that ring a bell why is that ring a bell coach carter coach carter oh it's the principal one that came out in 2005 have i seen this oh no i haven't seen this it's samuel l jackson right samuel l jackson no i haven't seen it Robin. is it a good movie is it a good show definitely do sir i definitely do sir i think that's from uh, coach carter maybe i've seen it one of the bigger problems is uh, is teachers in the education system if the teacher just see it as a job then the person hate or just see it as a job this this teacher will not be good at reaching out to the young people and be able to teach them something i agree uh sit kiss our our manan most teachers are brainwashed or narrow-sighted yeah i agree right now anyway more so than before more so than before actually good school is teaching us to think critically yeah it should we're thinking critically about school we're thinking critically about school we are that's good you need to be able to see what level the individual is at and not assume that everyone uh, in the class is on the same level 100 percent agree these teachers come from their own school and they are really indoctrinated 90 percent of the time which is not good for teaching one of the things is too is it's the system they don't a lot of people go into teaching because they want to work with youth and they love it like for me i love it i stumble onto this thing right i love it however they go into the education system 
and they think that is their only job or their main job they don't realize there's a ton of bureaucracy that they have to deal with there's ton of regulations that they have to deal with there's do's and don'ts of education they have to if certain things happen they gotta go through the uh, go through the steps of dealing with it and stuff like this they can't get too close to students because you know they might it might be frowned upon and stuff like that and they can't talk straight up to them they can't use foul language they, there's so many obstacles put in front of teachers they get burnt out right i have sympathy for teachers in school most of them initially but if they've been there for a long time and they hate their job my sympathy is gone right it means they're just taking a cozy job and they don't care about it right if you come across teachers that have been there for 20 years and they hate their job change classes if you can okay or even 10 years and they hate their job change classes if you can give them about five years to sort things out if they still hate or they end up hating teaching change classes if you can I don't think it's really entirely the teacher's fault they can't not assume that everyone is on the same level because that's what the system tells them to do yeah I've I've had friends that are teachers that I don't I don't think they were good teachers they were good teachers to people to kids who knew their stuff but any any students that really didn't know their stuff and they didn't abide by their dictatorial powers they would just fail them right they would go up to the kid and say I'm gonna fail you right unless you do this 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 and the kids would fail out right I don't consider that a good teacher a good teacher is not someone who can educate those who already know the material a good teacher is someone who can bring people up to the level they need to be at you know for them to progress right that's a good teacher a good teacher teaching to the choir is not a is not a good teacher that's just someone teaching to the choir right and when the teachers stop putting, uh, putting personal ideas and shit into the education, they are really stupid. Yeah, it's a great movie about a basketball coach trying to get his students to study more. Ah, that's cool. Nice. I'll uh, I'll try to check it out. Ah, they gifted a tier one sub to Martin. It's their first gift sub in this channel. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks for doing that. The uh, Oka Oka one thank you this big smile martin says thank you no problem <laughs> go on says fun have you seen any alternate systems that work better um and in regards to education sure i'm generating my own alternate system right now that i'm working on right so i'm creating content i put my name out and word of mouth goes out right i'm also working with an alternate school in town where we're doing distant education and they're basically getting me to assess their kids in regards to mathematics right so i spend a few sessions assessing them filling in some gaps and then we set ourselves a goal where we want to reach right where you know if it's we want to teach a multiplication table we we'll teach a multiplication table. if we want to teach them graphing we teach them graphing if we want to get them to a level where they understand a little bit of statistics we get them to a level where they want to understand a little bit of statistics the alternate alternative system is one of them is hands-on one-on-one group of five or less right where you're working with a central institution they're farming that stuff out bringing in i don't want to say i'm an expert but I'm an expert. I'm very, very, very good at what I do because I'm very passionate about it and I care about the students and I hate the centralized education system. So I've got like, I got multiple incentives for me to be good at what I want to do, right? Because I want to decentralize everything. That's one of my core philosophies. So I'm working towards decentralizing things. I want a better community to live in. So I'm helping the community. I care about the kids so I'm helping the kids I'm learning from the kids you have no idea how much I've learned from my students I can't even emphasize this more right a good teacher will be learning constantly from their students right so that's one level I've also seen other levels other types of education systems right that are more private you know there's the 
I'm not promoting any of these, but there's uh, the Waldorf uh, education system. There's uh, there's education systems which are geared towards spending half the school year in nature and the other half in the classroom. So there's environmentally centric education systems, right? There's a lot of them out there, man. They're not. Some of them are not state sponsored, right? Some of them are slowly becoming uh, getting funding from the centralized state. OK, but they also have to abide by the timelines of the state. So for two months, they can't be teaching in the summer, right? They don't get any funding or whatnot. So there's a lot of different systems out there. I have two math teachers that are uh, polar opposite. One of them is a bit uh, neurotic and aggressive. The other is laid back and deadpan is very fun. Cool. If only students hadn't decided to occupy. Sheesh. Why do they even have that choice? <laughs> Uh, you know what, man? Uh, uh, I'll disagree with you on this one. I think non-violent group action is a good thing. That's democracy in action. So if they're occupying, it's creating discomfort for you right now a little bit, but maybe it'll make things better in the long run when they're pressuring the centralized system to change a policy which is horrendous i don't know why they're occupying i don't know what it is right so i'm all for group action uh what do you call it there's a word for it non-violent uh oh, i forget what it's called there's a political word for it also i'm really glad i see you doing these and talking about topics like this yeah it must be done are we are we our our theme it's okay to brag sometimes it's okay to brag sometimes i think my biggest problem with school was that i really excelled in elementary and then in middle school there was a no there was no one-on-one -on -one time uh when you were struggling so i felt be uh, fell behind and then high high school i just stopped caring because it seemed like the teachers didn't care yeah Oka Oka one that's one of the problems one of the problems i'm seeing right now because i mainly deal with high school education i have some students that are elementary school as well right and a handful i get in post-secondary but one of the problems i'm seeing with high school students is elementary school education has completely collapsed in regards to mathematics so i'm getting a lot of kids in grade eight where they don't know how to add fractions like literally they have no idea how to add fractions they don't know how to move around an equal sign wow right so one thing i do when i work with elementary school kids i teach them all that stuff before they go to high school so when they go to high school i still keep on working with them but my job is so much easier and i you know you fine tune them for what they're learning in the grade eight and nine but i'm mainly teaching them grade 10 and 11 material school lost me in fourth grade oh that's so early when they started giving us a quiz on what our prime num prime minister said in media and other useful stuff oh god then the teacher thought it was a good idea to make a compilation on it and made a list with points on all students in the class yeah that teacher really sucked that teacher really sucked when teachers bring in corporate propaganda into the classroom and test you on what the corporate propagandists are telling you and the puppets that are in control of the funding for a country when they start teaching you it's indoctrination it's horrendous is it democracy if it didn't get a vote though the way student union uh, occupation usually pan out is more akin to totalitarianism um it's a touchy subject Wobin. like i've seen school demonstrations where they prevent people from speakers coming in that's to me that's fascism that's totalitarianism you're preventing someone from speaking right however if the students are acting on mass to change a policy of the centralized system then i tend to agree with that so when the students band together and try to bully individuals preventing individuals from speaking going outside of the 
centralized institution which is governing the education system then that's totalitarianism that's fascism if they're working together to change the laws in the system then that's collective bargaining to a certain degree right i agree with you it's a fine line it really depends what they're trying to accomplish and how they're going about it right if they're trying to force their opinions onto other students then that's totalitarianism i agree with you 100 percent. i agree i was lucky as i was educated in the 70s uh, 70s uh, 80s when classroom size were smaller that's martin Wabin, where a few decide for everyone that no one gets class i feel you Wabin. i feel you it really depends what they're doing and hopefully the class is going to be rescheduled right because if you're paying for the class then you're losing money right and technology was not so real yeah the technology thing is crazy i have a lot of students that are addicted to technology or i know that a lot of kids in high school are addicted to technology they're not a recognized authority or power democracy works with established entities described in the country's constitution a republic not some people just vote and do whatever they want uh, no matter the consequences uh, well, then, i sort of disagree with you on that right democracy in large part has been shaped through mass movements right democracy doesn't come uh, come about from top down laws being passed democracy comes out from mass movements from the ground up so there has to be sort of a balance sort of an understanding of how we've come to be where we are right you can take the civil rights movement uh, for as an example right civil rights movement didn't start from the presidents and the corporations saying yes we will grant equal rights and liberty to all of our employees and whatnot it came from people just taking the system and grinding it to a halt right and that is required at times i don't know what the sit-in for your classroom was all about though the classes are so big it sucks because there are too many people and i can't really blame the teachers they just get exhausted yeah yeah some teachers i blame but it's the system that i'm very much against jacob how are you doing hey guys how are we today we're doing fantastic always a pleasure to talk about education really one of the root causes of our problems halfway through the ninth grade i quit going to school oh no today i've had two successful businesses awesome <laughs> oh no awesome right yeah which is something you can do right there are certain experiences that you missed out on uh, uh sick the sick i can't even pronounce your name manin our manin our manin there's there's a few different experiences you missed out on but those are social experiences not in regards to academia what if school students brought out a a guillotine <laughs> Hot make where are you going to Lorraine of terror for a more modern time? <laughs> no killing people, no off with their heads. Okay, I'm currently a developer with a good career. I want to get into education though because I see it's a huge problem for exactly the reason you're describing. What's the best way to get started? Oof. So, what are you? You're a developer, currently a developer i'll have to think about that man uh our theme there there's so many places that education is uh being reworked like for example just to give an example i'm doing what i'm doing right you have places like Khan academy and stuff doing what they're doing trying to create a centralized system to bring masses of people online and get them to pass whatever exams they need to pass right it's just basically feeding the machine but it serves a purpose okay and some of the videos are not that right for me it's more of a personal touch I uh, it's not about um, getting kids getting people through a system it's about educating people right 
So places like Khan Academy, to a certain degree, is getting people through the system. For me, it's more geared towards empowering people, right? Especially focused on mathematics. There are also giants getting into the education system, maybe Bill Gates, Rupert Murdoch, Apple, and all this jazz, right? So you have to figure out your politics and your economics. Where do you want to be? And look into those areas. Is it on the small scale, personal level? Is it on the machine system, right? Uh, creating a new automated system to try to get people across? Or is it partnering yourself with major conglomerates to roll out their business model, right? Yes, the school system needs more teachers and maybe encouraging studying groups among students. Yeah, study groups is good. Today we have we have don't have democracy anymore. What we have today is called uh, democracy. I gotta pronounce that democratorship. Big difference, democratorship. Inverted totalitarianism. Economics trumps everything right now in our current Western world, anyway, and huge parts of the other world. Do you understand the concept of uh, laicity? I don't know from the like. Uh, from the like of French Constitution here it kind of means that the education system and space needs to be a political a religious free and accessible I don't know uh, that term laicity laicity the problem is our education system is 100% political Wabin that's what our current centralized education system is right now it's 100% political right so how do you prevent it from being political? How do you depoliticize our education system? If you don't challenge it, try to make it depolitical, then it's going to remain political. If you use political means to try to make it apolitical, is that's like this sentence is false. If it's true, it's false. If it's false, it's true. Da, 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 da. So it's a loop. I really don't know what the solution is, Wabin. Really, I don't know uh, for the centralized education system to fix it. I know it's crumbled. I know it's collapsed, right? I say let it die. The solution to society, for society, to educate its populace is not the centralized education system. It's alternate systems. It's personalized education the way I'm doing things. It's, uh, it's multi-tiered. There's multiple ways to go about it, right? Currently working on school work, enjoying this stimulating conversation while working. Awesome, Jacob. Chicho, you're still going. Happy days, happy days, intrepid, happy days. I hope you had a great run. A developer, what time is it? Cool. Uh, da, da, da. A developer of what? Buildings or a web developer or a software developer? Yeah. Okay, okay, asking. Uh, Arthin, good questions, right? I think lay, laicity is a great philosophical principle to mandate in school, to make them spaces free of political basic politics, basically. But the student unions infringe on that, usually very left-leaning politics. But the problem, again, Wabin, is our current education system, centralized education system, is 100% political right a web developer web software developer you could always make a software that could uh, help teachers or something along those lines or students you don't have to just jump jobs you can help uh, do help help do what you know and have experience in yeah okay okay is 100% correct right build your own platform to help teachers uh, there are multiple different platforms that like for example what do i need as a platform uh, what do i need as a platform uh, i need open source software 100 percent. that's non-proprietary right i need an amazing uh, there are there are uh, systems out there some kind of uh graphing software uh, algorithms and there are some out there I played around with some of them I need some kind of organizational open source software that is uh, has privacy has uh, 
anonymity, right? Because there's no way me personally, I'm going to use Google spreadsheets or anything like this to manage the information for my students. I keep all of that offline on personal computers, right? So it has to be safe, secure system. I don't share that information uh, with a centralized institution. So there's things that personally as private educator, uh, someone's that working with students that I need, uh, it, it's, it's really large. Uh, the first order of business, uh, uh, Arthian, is start following people uh, that are putting out news about our current education system and are doing education streams and talking about education and some of the problems that they have and start off small and provide little solutions right for people uh to help them out right everything is political people who want to keep politics out of whatever just support the status quo which is political stance dante i agree with dante politics is everywhere right now politics is in our food supply right in our health care like our health care system in canada is completely political like it's not number one priority is not health number one priority is politics everywhere yo chicho good morning man sleepy waves how are you doing hope i'm not too late not too late we're gonna go for another 20 minutes or so but uh well we'll have to end it uh uh, by nine o'clock my time within two in uh, you know the two hour stream i do have students that i have to meet monday is the last exam i've done with most of my students on monday that are in the current education system i have students that are that i'm teaching separately that aren't in an education system but the main wave is done on monday so i have some students i need to take care of well here it means that it's basically illegal to promote political party propaganda in schools and in public schools there are uh, there can be no religious uh, prostatizing so there's no religious favoritism Robin isn't stopping student groups from being political make the schools apolitical <laughs> the idea of la lacit lacity applies to those in power more than those subjugated by the power up time one hour 38 minutes cool thanks Nicholas student groups from being uh political make the schools political sorry i mistyped student groups are uh allowed to do, 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 do whatever they want but outside the education space as in the school building Otmic is getting it do, 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 do. but they are occupying it it's one of their more common measures of action not allowing free transit so for example is were the bus uh, boycotts in alabama uh, were they the wrong thing to do i know that's not a school system so what where's the school system um, I, I can't think of examples right now but there are different types of school systems where you know segregation you can take segregation for example there were schools that were segregated where the mass movement sit-ins to prevent segregation to end segregation were they wrong no they were right right oh Wobin, you're out of here i'm going to go uh get breakfast though it should be lunch at this point uh, uh, you all have a good time you too Wobin. thanks for uh, popping in in sweden there was a school during uh, during the political voting times the the, oops, the principal invited all the different parties to the school besides one the party the party that is accused of being racist in left-wing media which they are not talk about sending weird signals to the students yeah i wouldn't if you're going to invite everyone open up the platform let the discussion be there no censorship a closed system is the only way uh to keep personal information safe all all my work information is on a closed platform yeah hello nice to meet you angus nice to meet you too do you teach subjects other than math uh physics as well i used to teach a little bit of chemistry but i stopped that like 20 years ago but i do teach um, uh, uh, physics as well okay i got to go get a new phone it was a great to be able to catch you live stream didn't know you did them i have only one 
I have only been watching you on YouTube for a few months. Awesome. Oka Oka One, thanks for popping by and thank you for gifting uh, the sub to Martin. Okay, I appreciate that very much. What does your academic background consist of? Uh, geophysics and mathematics for future purposes. Friday for future future protests or or doing school hours. Friday for future protests. See ya. But then it's not a political problem as much as the protest is affecting your convenience. Ah, it is about convenience. Good point, Otmek. Even if they weren't protesting something political, the general occupation is the issue. It isn't necessarily because of their political stance. I realize the occupation probably won't happen if, if not for their political views, but the issue isn't their political views, but their way of protesting. Odd neck, you should be doing live streams. I love to hear your perspective on live streaming just going off, right? Very good point. I hope Wobbin caught it. Hey, buddy. There should be more decentralized spaces for political education. 100%. Any politics you're learning from the state is got a lot of BS in it and a lot of lies, right? I don't care which country you're from. In, in Canada, the United States, there's so much BS in history that they teach in our current education system. Like, really, tremendous amount, right? All you have to do is go through, go back and see what they were teaching 40 years ago and look at it now and go, oh, wow. Like, they didn't even discuss that now, right? And then realize that some of the things that we're teaching kids 40 years ago have completely turned around. It's the opposite that they're teaching them now, right? 40 years ago, they weren't even teaching kids about the, um, the what do you call it? The schools for the, uh, for the natives, for the indigenous people where they took the kids away from their families and they put them in these schools that they were abused and stuff. Now it's there finally it's there being taught right just imagine there should be more da, 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 da. like people's forum in new york city it's saturday and i'm off time for a beer soon awesome martin <laughs> aren't you supposed to on your days off aren't you supposed to not drink because you drink during your work times <laughs> you should be drinking herbal teas on your work on your days off brother balance 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 <laughs> hard to hard to say though hard to say oh, for sure fun this was a good stream i love doing these education streams one out of eight i get off one out of eight wow wow i need to i got tahini here i need to energize myself with a little bit of tahini and honey Martin, you should go get some sun. Green tea, nice. And this one's sort of Persian tea, black tea. I'm sort of giving myself a little bit of... Actually, green tea has nice caffeine too. Tea in the morning. Every now and then I stop drinking tea for a couple of days. Just because I drink a lot of tea, so I try to filter that out of my system. Maybe, maybe. How are you doing? Atmik. by the way chicho have you heard of uh freetown christiana uh, christiana no i don't freetown christiana i'm gonna look her up i don't drink hot drinks not sure why i know people that don't drink cold drinks because of the chinese uh thing saying Freetown Christiana. Freetown Christiana, also known as Christiana, is a self proclaimed autonomous anarchic district of about. in Denmark? No, I didn't know this. District of about 850 to 1,000 residents covering uh, in the boroughs of Christiana in the Danish capital city of Copenhagen. 
It was temporarily closed to residents in April 2011 by the Danish government. Oh, wow. I don't know about this. That's cool. I'm going to bookmark this. Save it as a as a pin tab. I didn't know about this, uh, Mac. That is cool. I think you did a stream on this. But what's in tahini again? It's the tahini. So I this one is with honey. So I take. It's about. You gotta, uh, Nicholas. You gotta do it to your taste. So for me, it's about uh, three quarters tahini and a quarter honey, and I mix it with honey or maple syrup. So I take tahini, and I mix honey, uh, put honey in it, and mix it. And then I taste it. If it's if it's not sweet enough for me, I add more honey, and I mix it until I like the sweetness of it, right? And I do the same with maple syrup. So I either mix it with honey or maple syrup. With honey, it's a little bit more solid. With maple syrup, the color changes to a little darker, and it's just as solid as well with maple syrup. And tahini is just sesame seeds right totally off topic but chicho i was seeing a girl for a couple of weeks and last night she told me she would rather be just friends any tips on letting go and moving on kind of woke up bummed um uh, just do that just be friends uh, but i would recommend if she just wants to be friends i would recommend not constantly trying to hang out with them okay hang out with them every now and then hang out together in social settings um, just so they see how I don't know how long you've known this person just see just for them to see how you interact with other people maybe they're they might change their mind and say well, maybe I want to be a little bit more in friends right but don't uh, don't rearrange your schedule to be constantly with them and every now and then if they contact you out of the blue and say you know if they contact you a lot out of the blue and say oh can we hook up right away I, I really need to be with a friend or something like this for sure offer your time but don't do it every time they want to be with you right because you have a life now too and if you want to be uh, find someone that you can be intimate with then you have to put some energy towards that as well and go outside of that friendship right uh, I've had this happen. Obviously, everybody's had this happen to them. Sleepy waves, for sure, right? Um, it sucks if you want to be more than friends. But one way to get over it, get it's not even over it. Just uh, sort of accept their uh, their decision, right? Because it's their decision. You have to respect it, right? Is uh, expand away from them still be there for them but expand away and meet other people there might be they're guaranteed there's people that are going, that you're going to be interested in if not more at least as much as you were in them okay find those people and it's it's a long life man uh your paths will cross again if it's meant to be all right it's a community in Denmark that was settled by squatters when the military left their base. It's an oh, it's on the military base. I think I read about this. It's an almost completely independent town from the country of Denmark. I might have come across this uh, when it first uh, hit my radar back like eight, nine years ago. The military base triggered it, but I didn't follow through. It wasn't hitting my radar. I'll look into it more, Odd Mick. Thank you for that or the South African one it's absolutely mind-blowing completely anarchist uh, anarchist independent proof that is possible for sure it's possible anarchist communities are 100% possible especially anarchist communities that don't have the full weight of the state on them right a lot of reason these communities don't survive is because the state comes down hard on them they blockade them they put pressure on them it's basically the way they treat certain countries where they sanction them and blockade them right the country's economic prospects collapse people are under pressure and the system collapses right 
if people were left alone more freedoms right less restrictions we would see so many different alternative systems of communities and lives everywhere right i'm familiar with that place love copenhagen yeah i'm half danish and i go to the school there it's one of my favorite places to go oh cool i never made it to copenhagen when i was in europe hate to say it plenty more fish in the sea plenty more fish in the sea martin's like straight up bar mentality ah oh, plenty more fish in the sea brother move on move on move on but if the person is a really nice person you do want to stay friends with them as well right there's nothing wrong with that but putting it bluntly plenty of more fish in the sea to what extent are you religious Chicho? A spiritual yes organized centralized religion not right I have been there wasted eight years waiting oh eight years I've, I've I've done a few months maybe a couple of years max I don't think a couple of years but uh, I had fun in the process too right I see you eight years is a long time Martin too bad for them their loss really from our interaction and the way you've been brother their loss big time big time all right big time happy to call you a friend twitch chat friend and more right i also have relationship advice i could use if you are willing as you know i will be leaving for the marines in early december and last night my girlfriend just told me she doesn't think that she can bear the uh the leave while i'm uh i'll be gone and basically wants to end things once i leave this was very hard to hear to be honest yeah you guys have been together for a while intrepid yeah what do you do for a living sir uh i teach math same here i have a spiritual set of beliefs but i disagree with mass religion same sir what are your favorite books oh man we've covered so many of these my favorite books i don't know on what front here i'll give you one here's one of my favorite books screw tape letters by c.s lewis i like this trippy trippy gore vidal perpetual war for perpetual peace get in there uh wilhelm reich's mass psychology of fascism we're here for you brother so sorry for you thanks chicho my pleasure man thank you i think i believe in a higher power i find it fulfilling and i want to believe <laughs> i want to believe <laughs> x files i am not sure about life after death though uh you know what I believe in life after death right um, but a higher power I don't know on uh, I believe we are the higher power in large part right I do I believe in higher forms of being right thank you my friend intrepid I just bought perpetual war awesome sleepy ways starting nice nice starting tomorrow nice thank you for not ignoring me again sir no I, if i can't help it i don't ignore man what was the last fascist book called can you type it mass psychology of fascism by wilhelm reich let me provide a link an intrepid brother that's hard mass psychology mass psychology of fascism here the mass psychology of fascism by wilhelm reich the version i have is the 19 uh, it was uh here oh nice uh mick you provided it the version i have is uh the 1945 i think rewrite he wrote it in 19 
1933 and I've read some pages from the 1933 version and the 1945 version is better he added more to it right because he was writing it as the Third Reich was coming into power right he was living through it and then after World War two he revamped it and stuff right uh, difficult read hard read brilliant read highly recommend it really the pink font ain't working for you I think the majority of people are embedded into the system now making it impossible to escape until the system collapses Mick until the system grinds to a halt and people are just going to be shocked out of uh, that state of being where do you stand politically <laughs> so much. where do I stand politically right here right now decentralization oh well the universe could be a, a simulation built by a chubby 40 year old programmer with Matt Dio named Dave all hail Dave <laughs> hilarious scary <laughs> eating cheese puffs <laughs> drinking coca-cola <laughs> or hopefully eating tahini i'd be into that not the bad bio though eating tahini i guess the higher power i believe is is in ascribable as an actual being as much as an amorphous nebulous collection of things i value and believe want to be in the universe because i think they're universally good <laughs> cool. i like what uh, uh grant morrison the way grant morrison described it we as individuals are this 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 is me this is Admik, this is martin this is Wabin, and all everybody else right so this is us if you're looking at it as a 2d so just imagine a 2d plane our hand going through this and each one of us appears as a circle right but if you had a higher perspective you would realize that each one of us is part of a hand and another being a whole being so we are all connected right looking at ourselves through the three or fourth dimensional point of view if we go to a higher dimension we'll realize that we are all connected right? that's a good a good philosophy better better than odd make no offense but better than a 40 year old programmer eating cheese puff drinking cold cola with bad bio living in a virtual reality I recently finished reading 1984 for the second time. I haven't read it for a second. I read it once a long time ago. Yes, Big Brother knows this. Big Brother, 1984. What a scary book. Okay, gang, we're at two hours. We gotta, we gotta end the stream, or I have to end the stream. My apologies. I'm loving these conversations, but um, I gotta go see some students. Gotta get them ready for the final on Monday okay uh thanks for being here thank you for the subs thank you for the follows thank you for the gifts if you've been gifting them ah i always come home from work too late to catch the full stream i'll look up grant morrison i haven't heard of him oh grant morrison's awesome uh morrison here thanks chicho grant morrison and he gives this uh explanation doing a dis uh disinformation this in for this in for nation um lecture i guess it's, it's a lecture but he was talking about uh, he talks about robert anton wilson and stuff like this it's the lecture where he comes on he's pretty plastered <laughs> he yells really loud he goes ah, and then he goes off right he's uh he's 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 a huge comic book writer creator okay happy to be able to catch the stream thanks Chicho. my pleasure intro thank you for being here thanks for being here nicholas Admik. i'll look up grant morrison yeah you look like lennon maybe yeah well that 
vaya con Dios, Chicho. Vaya con Dios. I, I assume that means have a great day or something. Grand Morris and this information, and that's me. Okay, gang, hope you have a fantastic weekend. Most likely, I'm going to upload the previous live stream we did for politics today. Uh, most likely, maybe tomorrow evening uh, or tomorrow. Uh, and then the following one we did yesterday will be uploaded in a couple of days or so. Okay. Have a great weekend, everyone. We'll talk later and I'll announce streams, the next scheduled live streams in the next three days or so. Okay. Bye for now.